Well, this week, the Pokemon company held their own showcase, and we got a bunch of new details about the upcoming open-world Pokemon entry called Scarlet and Violet. So we had a brand new trailer, plus a follow-up with the developers, as we dove deeper into the details, and today I'm going to round up all of that for you. Well, previous to the event that we knew that the region for the game would be based on Spain, and now we have a name, and that is the Paldea region. So this has lush green lands, rivers, mountains, and more. Plus you've got villages, towns, and farms. You've got a large city in the center of the region called Mesa Goza. And depending on which version of the game you pick up, you're going to find two schools. You've got the Naranja Academy and the Uber Academy. So as part of joining the school, you're going to get equipped with a Rotom phone that houses your Pokedex and also a map. Now the structure is changing slightly in this new Pokemon game. Here we have three grand stories. The first is where you take on eight gym leaders in a traditional Pokemon style, although they can be tackled in any order. Now, Pokemon are all over the region, on land, up trees, in the water, and the trailer showed off Pokemon new and old, with returning Pokemon including Haunter, Growlithe, and more. Then you've got the Paldean variants of Pokemon 2, including a Paldean Wooper, and instead of living on land, it lives in the water, and it has a new poison attack. So you've got new Pokemon as well, and one of the most popular is bound to be Fido. It's a new half-dog, half-bred species. Fido can puff himself up, but he also has yeast-like breath, which can ferment things and also help with cooking. So Titian is a new ice-type Pokemon that has powerful attacks, thanks to their huge body, and also has really strong defense as well. Well, Caradon and Muradon, they're new legendary Pokemon that appear on the cover art, and it looks like we're going to be getting hold of these legendaries early on in the game. They're not only powerful Pokemon who are going to be strong allies, but they also double up as vehicles, so we can ride them either by flying or using them as motorcycles. Well, they can change form to adapt to different ways of travel, they can run fast through open areas, they can swim in the water, and they can also glide through the air. Well, changing forms is a running theme in this entry of the Pokemon game, with other Pokemon able to change things up as well. So Gen 9 has a new method similar to Dynamaxing of Sword and Shield, where Pokemon can get new abilities in battles. This time it's called Terrestrialize, and that turns Pokemon into gems or crystals, allowing them to become more powerful than some Pokemon change type when they go into this form. For example, Eevee has a new Terra type option that she can change into. Well, Gen 9 features Terra Raid Battles, which are four-player cart battles against terrestrialized Pokemon. They aren't turn-based battles, meaning players can attack and heal at any time throughout the match, rather than having to wait their turn. And that should turn up the excitement and the action, so you've got a built-in matchmaking mode for this, where you can send out link codes to your friendship group. If you take down the terrestrialized Pokemon, you have a chance to catch it. Well, cart mode expands to the Paldea region with friends as well. So using Scarlet and Violet's Union Circle, you can bring in up to three friends to play with and explore the region together in four-player co-op. And together, you're going to be able to capture Pokemon, plus trade and battle with each other. Well, Scarlet and Violet looks to have a decent-sized story mode with plenty of characters to meet along the way. Well, here we've already been introduced to Professor Sada and Professor Churo. There's also a bunch of new characters that we hadn't seen before this showcase. Clavel is the director of the academy and teaches you about the school. Mr. Jacques is the homeroom teacher who teaches you about biology, and Jacques is also the developer of the Pokedex app. Arvin teaches you about cooking, for example, promoting healthy recipes for your Pokemon. And Penny is also another character, although she seems quite shy. Grusha is a gym leader, a snowboarder, who specializes in ice-type Pokemon and trains the new Setitan. You know, the Pokemon company is saying this is a true open-world Pokemon entry. You know, we recently had Pokemon Legends Arceus, which was the semi-open-world similar to kind of a Monster Hunter game. But this one is going the full open-world. It's going to be interesting to see how the traditional gym leader stories work in the open-world formula. You know, how the bosses and the enemies scale. In theory, you should be able to go anywhere and battle any gym leader in any order. That is going to depend on the scaling of the difficulty and the enemies. So how open world this is going to be, you know, it's really, really going to be interesting to see. So it does look like the Pokemon company are doing some neat things here to switch up the formula. But will it be enough to push the series forward to where it needs to be? You know, only time is going to tell. 
Well, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is going to arrive on the 8th of November 2022, and that one is exclusive to Nintendo Switch. Well, that is it for everything we know at the moment about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Uh, it looks really interesting. I'm definitely going to get hold of it when it comes out on the 8th of November 2022. And as always, thank you so much for watching or listening. Hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. Or you can check me out on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, lucky in sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Thanks again. I'll see you soon.